wait for in the morning And once more the dawning just woke up The warning in me Wishing I'd never met her Knowing if I'd forget her How much better off she would be The longer I hold on the longer this goes on, the harder that it's gonna be. But it's four in the morning, and once more the dawning just woke up the warning in me. I never deserved her, God knows when I heard her. That's the last thing that I want to do She tries but she can't tell How she feels but I know too well What she's going through And if I love her so much I don't know why I can't do The right thing and just let her be but it's four in the morning and once more the dawning just woke up morning and me Last night I told her This time it's all over Making ten times I've told her goodbye Last night we broke up This morning I woke up And for the tenth time I'm changing my mind I saw more love in her eyes when I left her than most foolish men will ever see and it's four in the morning and once more the dawning just woke up the warning in me it's four in the morning and once more just woke up the warning in me. Yeah. Got to ask you what time of day you wrote that. I got up at four in the morning and looked at my watch and I said it's four in the morning and started writing and it and I got. Two verses done. They said, "Good." Felice Bryant told me more good songs are ruined by people trying to finish them. Yeah. For a certain thing, or, <laughs> or just to get them done. You know, she said it has to grow. It has to get better. The second verse has to be stronger than the last. And so I had the verse and the chorus, and uh, couldn't get nothing else that was doing anything for me. So I got on a tractor and started running a disc up on the hill. And when you're driving or something like that, you gotta get a rhythm going. And I wrote that last verse on that tractor. I keep singing it over and over and this boy was with me. And all at once I just pulled a pin on this disc and took off trying to get it down. Went down the hill and he's hollering, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> and I run in the house and one of the kids or something said, is everything all right? I said, everything's fine. And I run in that writing room and, and got it down. <laughs> and then you asked me about Fern. I went to the office that day and at 10 o'clock then, Fern called and he said, hey, I need a hit. And he did it. He never cut without calling me, I don't think. And, uh, so I went, o went over to Mercury and uh, and I sang him a song called uh, If It Feels Good, Do It. And I thought it was just great for him. And he said, no, I'll get you, I'll get Dudley to cut that. He'll cut your head on that. 
So he said, I, that ain't what I'm looking for. He said, have you wrote anything else? And I said, yeah, but it's not for you. Oh, yeah. And he said, what the hell do you mean it's not for me? You know, I found this blue. And I said, well, it's a waltz. And waltzes sell a million records. Every million seller has been a waltz. And you have to go to England and all over the world. You become an international star. And, and another thing is, uh, I don't think artists like people dancing when they're singing. And so he said, well, let me hear it. So anyway, I played him that, about like I did just now. And he said, I'll get it out of that waltz time. So he got it out of the waltz time. He tried it. I went over Friday when he did it. And he, uh, he tried it in 4-4. He tried it in Western Swing. He tried it blue. <laughs> he tried everything in the world, nothing. Finally, he said, hell, let's just do it the way it is. One take and went on the next song. He told Hilda later, he said, if I'd have known that was going to be such a big hit, I could have done it a lot better. She said, yeah, you could have run it. But, <laughs> <laughs>